Mr. AA, a 55-year-old obese patient, visits his general practitioner for a monthly review and is diagnosed with hypertension. He is very worried and wants to know much about hypertension. His general practitioner then refers Mr. AA to a clinical pharmacist after he is prescribed Bendroflazide 2.5 mg once daily for 30 days. Miss Bibi, what is hypertension? Persistent high blood pressure of more than 140 over 90 mm of mercury on at least two different occasions. It is a chronic disease. It cannot be cured, but it can be managed with medications. What are its causes? Hypertension can be categorized as primary, essential, and secondary. The causes of essential high blood pressure remains unknown, but accounts for 90-95% to of reported hypertension cases. Furthermore, some risk factors for essential hypertension are increasing age, family history of high blood pressure, obesity, lack of exercise, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, high amount of salt in your diet, high fat diet, and stress. Secondary causes of hypertension, on the other hand, also account for 5 to 10 percent of reported cases. The causes are renal diseases, vascular diseases, endocrine causes, and drugs. How can it be diagnosed? Blood pressure is often measured using a device known as the phygmanometer. The cuff is pumped up to restrict the flow of blood in your arm before slowly being released. The person checking your blood pressure will use a stethoscope to listen to your pulse. Hearing how your pulse reacts after the cuff is released allows a measurement to be taken on the scale of mercury, giving an accurate reading of your blood pressure. Many pharmacies now have the digital figmanometer, where your pulse is measured using electrical sensors. Blood pressure testing kits are also commercially available. Having one high reading does not necessarily mean you have high blood pressure. Your blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day, and if you feel anxious or stressed when you visit the doctor, it may lead to an increase in your blood pressure. Therefore, your doctor will need to take several readings on a set period of time, usually every month, to see if your blood pressure level is consistently high. Blood and urine tests may also be carried out in order to check for any condition known to cause a rise in blood pressure such as a kidney infection. Miss Bibi, how come I do not have any symptoms? High blood pressure does not normally cause any symptoms unless it has reached a very high level, typically 180 over 110 mm of mercury. Symptoms that your blood pressure has reached a very high level include a headache that lasts for several days, nausea, dizziness, drowsiness, blood or double vision, nosebleeds, irregular heartbeats or palpitations, shortness of breath. Can hypertension be managed? Yes. Treatment of high blood pressure will depend on your blood pressure levels and your associated risk of developing a cardiovascular disease such as a stroke. If your blood pressure is slightly high, such as systolic 120 to 139 and diastolic 80 to 89, known as prehypertension, and your doctor feels that the risk of cardiovascular disease are low. You should be able to get your blood pressure under control by making some simple changes to your lifestyle. Are there any lifestyle modifications for me? Yes, there are both lifestyle modifications and medicines for you. This is because your blood pressure is moderately high, 150 over 90 mm of mercury, and we feel that your risk of developing a cardiovascular disease in the next 10 years is higher than 1 in 5. Lifestyle modifications include regular exercise of at least 30 minutes a day, 5 times a week, moderating your alcohol intake to recommended levels of less than 21 units per week for men, eating a low-fat balanced healthy diet, restricting your consumption of salt to less than 6 grams a day, losing weight and restricting caffeine consumption to less than 5 cups of coffee or tea a day. There are a number of medicines that can be used to treat high blood pressure. You may be given a combination of different medicines to take to bring your blood pressure under control. 
However, factors such as age, gender, cardiovascular risk, associated medical conditions, adverse effects, cost of drugs and occupation of the patient may influence the choice. Research has shown that different blood pressure lowering medications work better for different ethnic groups. For example, ACE inhibitors are a more effective as a first choice medicine for treating high blood pressure in white people, whereas calcium channel blockers or thyroid diuretics tend to work better as a first choice medicine for black people. It is thought that this is due to the fact that black people tend to have a lower level of renin in their blood. Renin is an enzyme that helps to regulate blood pressure. ACE inhibitors work best where there is high level of renin in the blood, so they often prove not as effective in treating black people with high blood pressure. You have been prescribed a tablet, benzofluoride, which is one of the medicines for controlling the blood pressure. Benzofluoride is a thyroid diuretics, which work by reducing the amount of water in your blood and widening the walls of your arteries. They are not recommended for pregnant women or people who have gout. Thyroid diuretics have been known to reduce the level of potassium in your blood, which can interfere with your heart and kidney functions. They can also raise the level of sugar in your blood, which can lead to diabetes. Therefore, you probably be recommended to have blood and urine tests every six months so that your potassium and blood sugar levels can be monitored. A few people have reported that they could not get or maintain an erection while taking thyroid diuretics, but this particular side effect was resolved once the medicines were withdrawn. Other medications are also available. Do I have to take my medications every day and forever? For many people with high blood pressure, it is recommended that they take blood pressure lowering medicines for the rest of their lives. However, if your blood pressure levels remain under control for several years, it may be possible to discontinue treatment. Hence, you would have to adhere to your medications. Adherence to your antihypertensive medications is very important to prevent complications of hypertension such as stroke, heart attack, and kidney diseases. Thank you very much, Ms. Bibi. You're welcome, Mr. A.A.